Um, but I think if we do that, we're not we're not listening to the community. I think if we look at the uh, provincial budget cuts yesterday, freezes in social services. I think if you take a look at it, this afternoon, I sent everybody an email, and I received it, and I thought it was very apropos before budget time, which showed in the 30s, during the Depression, and how people lived on railroad tracks and stuff. Well, the only difference today is that we've got food banks, we've got social housing, and social services. And that's the difference. Or you'd have the same kind of scenario that you had in the 30s, because that's how bad the economy is. And we're not listening to the people out there if we if we just go ahead and, you know, if the provincial government is freezing everything, the federal government looks like they're going to be doing the same thing and they're going to be losing jobs. There's people in this community that are going to be losing jobs. And all these tax credits that are taken away from the companies. Do you think these companies are going to stick around and, and uh, keep people hired that they have now? No, they're going to be laid off. I think it's only reasonable to take a look at the whole picture. And we talked, well, it's only federal $47.12 or increase out of these 250 homes or whatever the apartments. Who is going to pay for that? It's not the owner of the building. It's not the owner of the apartment. It's the poor guy that's paying rent. is probably getting minimum wage. And, and you know, uh, the working poor are, who are going to a gaffy center to go and get some bread or uh, milk or some food for their, their kids to sit on the table. This additional cost was not bared by the operation of, this, of, the, of the city. This additional cost was here now because of the uh, mistakes made over the last year and having to pay out all these, these severance packages and all this other stuff. That's where that, that increase is coming by. And I don't think it's right to have the, the residents of this community in this hard time having to uh, uh, absorb this stuff. So I'm going to make a motion, Mr. Mayor, and um, hopefully a second era, that uh, we take the dollars needed, and I know it's a little over a million dollars, a million five something, to reduce the taxes, to eliminate the reduction of the uh, of, uh, the increase in taxes, to reflect a zero increase. If I can get a second era. Second era. Mr. Patel, second debate. 